Well, first of all, this lighting is really bright. So I'm going to go turn down my lights because this I've been in this box of darkness all day long. So you start the show. I'll be right back. I don't have anything to say. Why not? <laughs> What, what do you want me to start talking about? What do you have in the background there? I can see a Broncos helmet and a Kansas State helmet. What is that, Viva Seltzer? Viva, and then Chuckle is my new sponsor. Chuckle, uh, what, what is that, rum? It's a fruit punch rum. It's really good. Fruit punch rum. Like, imagine if you actually would have just came to Morgantown with me and we could have had them, like, sponsor You're not even a tailgate. Going. You're not even going to Morgantown. Because you said you weren't going. You know what? Let's start there. I'm, let's, I'm glad you brought that up. So Saturday morning, I come into work, and I got the game on West Virginia Penn State. I'm gonna oh, just there's say, a, there is a great game. Yeah, I'm so glad you got to watch it. I'm just going to say this. I am glad I didn't go to Morgantown for that game because I did look into it. And not only did they lose handily, there was like a two-hour weather delay. Oh, yeah. Out of the half. And I, and I never... thought that might benefit them a little bit. Nope. Well, they, they, they kicked a field They kicked a field goal. They did kick a field goal. And then it was that made it 13 to 6. It's like, okay, we have a chance now. So Penn State did the really smart thing. What they did was just chuck it as far as you can down the field, blatant offensive pass interference, dare the ref to throw a flag, which he didn't. Smart play, really. And then they scored a touchdown like a play or two later. That was basically the end of the game. Penn State's defense is really good. Yeah, they were yeah. really good. And West Virginia, uh, not – I'll say that they are – okay, I shouldn't say that I'm going to discount West Virginia Okay. by any – I think Penn State's better than I had them ranked. How about that? So I'll give Penn State a little bit of boost instead of just plummeting West Virginia's power ratings. My other takeaway from the morning games – was I, w I was watching Georgia play Clemson, and you know how much I love Jim Harbaugh. You know that, right? I just want to thank the committee for not letting Georgia be in the playoff last season because that's why Michigan won the national championship. Okay, Georgia Georgia was 12-0 and last year. They lost by a field goal to Alabama in the SEC championship game, and then they weren't even in the conversation. Remember, it was all Well, like, you have to win your conference championship, why? right? Except you don't. They make consolations all the time. I don't know. Look, we can all agree that George would have been favored on a neutral over all the other teams that got in. But can we yeah. maybe agree that Florida State damn sure didn't deserve to get in? Well, Alabama, or I'm sorry, Georgia, I don't want to overreact too much because it's possible that Clemson just isn't very good, right? It's one game. Yeah, I like App State already this it's week. It's possible, but Georgia looks like they are, once again, just a cut above every other team in the country. Like, very clearly the number one team. Clemson's Again, not very good. Probably not. And, and Cade Club that can't play, like, at all. That kid just can't. He just can't play. I so, did not get to watch very much of that game the other night. But, boy, uh, I, I think Dabo has got to – they're going to fire him if he doesn't figure it out. Wait like, a minute. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on a second. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to contradict you and call you out on something. You didn't get to watch very much of that game because you went to the beach. You sent me a picture of yourself at the beach. That was the early So game. I went, I had action on one morning game okay. and it was not going my way. And I was like, you know what? The sun is shining. It is gorgeous. We're in the middle of a weather delay. I'm going to go enjoy some beautiful Florida weather. So I drove to the beach, got myself a watermelon margarita, zenned out. And then I was like, this sucks. No, no, you didn't zen out. You were complaining. You were stressful. You were stressed out. You were texting, like, shitty comments. That's not... I, I mean, I do hate your team, which is why <laughs> you should not want to go to Morgantown now. Because K-State uh, is going to throttle that team. It's going to be really bad. That maybe. defense is going to just get obliterated. At least tell me that you didn't zen out, okay? I did. At least tell me you were, I was at the dinner. No, you, you're not. Oh, you're be not. quiet. You were upset. Okay, later in the day, you know, we did really well in the morning. The morning games went great for us. And then things started to fall apart in the afternoon. Like, did you see the Indiana cover? Oh, my God. Oh, I had, man. so, that from sucks. Art to Caesar, so I'm doing a Saturday and Sunday morning show with live with a bookmaker from the Westgate. Art to Caesar said, hey, FIU plus 25. That was probably one of the worst pushes of my life that was like i went one in 
I went one and four on Saturday and the push that obviously wasn't my play. It was from you guys. I just was like sitting there. I was like, what the fuck just happened? We did not do good on that. I can tell you that much. We did not do well. Miami, Florida demolished the University yeah, that was of Florida bad. in I the told swamp. You, when you yeah. ask, don't you want to recap Saturday? No, I'd like to not relive how yeah, awful last Saturday was. But that's the show. No, no, no. It's we have all sorts of other things to talk about. Games. We got a new splash contest. We have NFL week one. We need to talk about Survivor. We don't need to relive the atrocities that happened to me in my bankroll last Saturday. Let me run through a couple more Saturday games. Then we'll go to... Okay, next. you do you do that. Notre Dame. I said I'd like them to make the college football playoff. Should, I mean, should they pay me now for that bet? They won the game in College Station. Should I just... I feel like they should just give me the money. Honestly. Okay, whatever. Uh, I went to USC LSU. That was an awesome game. Did you watch that game? I that we can on- talk about. That was a really fun one. I, now you have my attention yeah. again. Uh, that was a really great game. I had USC and on the money line. It was probably the only thing that um, saved my weekend. And I had, I had bet it early and then I bet it again. And then I also bet it on the money line. Then I also took the second half, and uh, it, like I said, to save my weekend, I got a little degeneracy there on that one, which right. I preach a lot about showing discipline. So I did not. I think it's, you know, hand up. I was not the most disciplined on that game, but I felt so good about USC, especially how bad Saturday was, that I was like, you know what? I'm just going to unload all the clips. I can't. I'm surprised that you did that. That's so unlike you. It is like me i don't do that very often chris thurston on the other hand he does it all the time i usually do not have that type of behavior game was an awesome atmosphere so kudos to everybody that like helped get a big college football kickoff game to las vegas really that was really cool monday night i mentioned i mentioned yeah monday i played golf with eric osterman who i believe carried you in the super contest golf tournament uh yeah Okay, I played golf with him on Monday, so I wasn't really paying any attention to anything. I had heard, I'd seen a text. We had a guy lay, you know, into six figures on Florida State minus 800 money line. Oh, no. Was and it the I, same you know, guy who said he was going to eat dog shit if they lost? I don't know about that. I can't, oh, I can't, I can't, I can't do that. To the, I can't uh, exploit the customer like that or expose <laughs> the customer like that. I don't know. But this guy, because I think I'd rather lose a minus eight hundred dollar money line than have to eat talk shit. Yeah, that's doesn't sound good. But so I find out that we had this bet, and I was playing golf, and I wasn't paying any attention to the game. Went to a bar after the game, and I saw that Boston College was up like fourteen to six, I want to say, and I was like, oh shit, I'm gonna watch this game. Sat there, watched the game. Boston College wins. Yeah. And you know we had a. Saturday, we didn't really do that well. We did really well in the UNLV game, which I mentioned, I think, last Thank week. you for that. I did text you, I and you I did. tweeted. I said, thank you, because between USC, UNLV, and Notre Dame, I, I would like to thank you for that. So I'll, I'll thank you actually on the show as well, in addition to the tweet, because that those were the things that just did not make it a catastrophic weekend for me. Florida State losing on Monday night was really good for us. And honestly, if you go back to week zero, the unfortunately named week zero, our best result of that weekend on any sport was Florida State losing so to Georgia Tech. I would but like Florida to go back State because you, you so game. rudely interrupted me by saying that I went to the beach and I didn't watch the game. Even though I, you can bring a laptop to the beach. It's called having a Wi-Fi hotspot. But I did not watch much of it uh, because they were Clemson was just like there in the first half. I leave. I go to the beach. And then all of a sudden I hit the refresh score button. I was like, holy shit. So you stopped me from saying, I think, the Dabo Sweeney – if he loses to App State, does he get fired? No, I don't. Okay. I don't think so. I don't. I mean, he's got two national championships there. I, I, don't, I don't. But he okay. You have to adapt, or you're going to die. And he is yeah. refusing to adapt. He is, but let's 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 just hold. No, I know what you're saying. I think you actually might be right, honestly. But let's hold on a second because I still think it's possible that Georgia is just much better than every other team in the country. Okay. And it just, you know, like that was a bad loss. Obviously they got their ass kicked, but it was against Georgia. So let's, Fine. let's hold on a second. We'll see how they look like the next few weeks. You want it? So let's go. What do you want to talk about first here? I, I'm, and I'm, I'm a little. 
discombobulated. Do you want to do college survivor? You're discombobulated. I had to yeah. redo videos today because of technological issues. Are there like solar flares right now? Something is going on. My phone is not working very well. My brain is not working very well. That's unusual. Ah, oh, it's unusual. Well, you, your phone never works in Florida. You, it doesn't because my house is like hurricane proof. <laughs> that being said, I do have to walk outside to make phone calls that are not on Wi-Fi. That being said, we do have a lot to unpack. So I want to know some sharp plays for NFL and college football. We got to hit that before we move before we finish the show. We've obviously got the mailbag with like 40 questions this week. We've yeah. got to talk about our survivor revival. How many entries in the original survivor do you actually have? Do you know? Do I personally have in the college football one? Yeah. Well, I have I have three and then I split one with our producer Louis D'Onofrio. Okay. He's a very good lad. He went to the University of South Carolina. So, you know, he's, he's twisting my arm to use. Well, that was, I used South Carolina in two yeah. of them. I have nine in total and I lost well, you're three of them. But I'm, what? You lost three of nine? <laughs> well, okay. So this is my own fault. I had, I had Nevada and Sam Houston on my long list. Look, I can prove it. Right here. Last week, you think I college football that? week one. Okay. I did not. I did not know enough about Sam Houston, and I crossed out Nevada. I was like, no way. For my, That was supposed to be one of my double-digit dogs. I texted to uh, our producer, JH. It doesn't matter. I'm not wanting to use a bunch of South Carolina. I used a couple just, like, see the ball go through the hoop teams that I was like, I'm not going to be using these teams later on down the road. Yeah. I can't believe Troy lost as, like, a huge favorite. And I, I logged in, and I was like, what the fuck? Then... Then I also logged into the other one that I entered. Um, I don't know if I thought I was picking UTSA, but I picked UTEP in two of them. So I donated uh, $200 to well, a... You, meant, uh, you certainly met UT, UTSA. Yeah, but I, they were I, right next to each other. And I think I, I used them. I think I used them on one of my other entries. Yeah. And I, so I was going to use them as well. And I looked and I was like, how did that lose? Did UTSA lose? Cause it's just like a little, a little emblem and it's, it's orange on the app. And so I look, I'm like, they didn't lose it. And I click it and I was like, UTEP, what? I want to pick UTEP against Nebraska. Why, why don't you, I am like, why don't you double check okay. your work kid. Double check I, yourself. Come on. Okay. I, so, this is supposed to be a trust circle. I'm just trying to tell you what happened. But I, I, that's fine, but I'm telling you, you got you to be careful. And these contests, there's so many cons, there's so many things going on. I'm constantly like double and triple checking everything. Anyways, Louie really, like, I didn't want to do it. You know what I mean? I was like, no. Nah, oh, do it. sure. Uh, yeah, he, yeah. He, oh, I don't want to use – when, yeah. when else were you going to use South Carolina? He's just twisting my arm. And then I, I wasn't really paying any attention to the game. And he's texting Sure you me. weren't. He's like, oh, my God, we're going to – no, no, I, no, I really wasn't in the first half. And he's texting me like, oh, my God, we're going to lose, we're going to lose. And I'm like, I'm thinking to myself, this kid needs to relax. So I, I turn it on, and I saw what was going on in the game, and I was like, oh, my God, we are actually going to lose. But South Carolina, they had a strip sack, and they scored a touchdown a couple of plays later. It's the only reason they won. Me and Louie are in week – what is this, week two in college? We're there, man. We're, we're in week two. We're looking at a few options for week two. Maybe the lane train at Ole Miss. I don't know. Oof. Tough to use them though. But I think I think Louie needs an easy winner. You know, yeah. he needs to he needs to settle in a little bit. Easy. Well, easy I played a combination of some garbage teams. I don't want to bet probably the rest of the year. Louisville, Rutgers. I'm not going to tell you my other one. My sleeper pick. I might have used a couple for tonight. You got to keep some of this stuff under wraps, Jam. We can't be just giving away, like, all of it. Uh, like, I will wait around. We're competing against these people. For your sleeper pick for college football. I'll sport. text you after it kicks off. I hope you do. Um, tell tell everybody about Splash is doing a revival. So how many how many Kelly and Murray show survivors did they do last week? I think we had three. And they're doing another one this week. So tell tell us about that. No, it's not this week. It starts week five. So I think it's like the 28th. $100 entry. So if you get knocked out in the next five weeks, 
you'll join. We already have 28 people. We just put it up the other day. We already have 28 people that join. So I'm guessing uh, that's because, well, let's just be real. At least 28 people got knocked out of our original. Uh, this one's also guaranteed 50 grand. So oh, nice. I love those guys. But yeah, I'm probably going to have to get involved in that because by then I'm going to have at least two accidental screw up picks. And uh... yeah, I'll be, I mean, I'll have to get into that because I'll be eliminated from something. Well, week five, that's a long way away. Man. Well, I think that's why they did it is like, let's yeah. re redo. It's kind of like your guys' reboot in the super contest, right? Like, reboot, you know, yeah. I had, I had, uh, my buddy was like, Hey, have you ever done the reboot? And I was like, no. Cause by then I'm usually so defeated by NFL. Like I don't even want to try, but he's like, Oh, I always enter the reboot when I sign up because then it's like, you get like a clean slate. So if you go get hot the second half of the season, then it kind of gives you something to cheer for because it's it's changed over the years like you guys have you know i don't know i guess i would call them segmented prizes now mm -hmm. i wouldn't necessarily call them quarterly because they're not necessarily well quarters, they're not quarterly. But they're, they're three week contests six week contests it's just a way to keep nine weeks. engaged yeah. it's a way to differentiate well that i mean i i won the mini contest over a decade ago because i got hot for the last three weeks of the season i mean it's nice to go home with nothing. So at least for the next 15 years, I get a free roll of my super contest entry. Very true. But that, those 15 years are coming to a close. Yeah. Those 15. Yeah. It's like it's like when this guy last week was like talking shit about my parlay. I go, bro, we've been free rolling this parlay. We had 85 weeks out of the gate. And then we hit three or four in the interim. And then we hit as 80 to one and then we had a 35 to one i go i think we're good till like at least 2030 i go but i'd have to do the math on that i think you're good for a long time do you want to do you want to go into college football sh like your best bet and some sure sharp plays and do the hottie so it's a hottie threesome i thought that i thought the foursome was aggressive and I'm talking it was about but it didn't matter i liked usc i liked wyoming i threw your idiot team in there that was just That's stupid nice. That's nice. I hate them so much. Who told uh, you? Why do you blame me for? They're your for, team. For pick, I didn't even. I didn't say to that one. Yeah. I hate them. Anyway, Although, we did see sharp people on West Virginia plus ten and a half. I know. I know. I'm sorry. Sharp like a stick in the eye. Okay, <laughs> so this okay. week we're going low hanging fruit. Pays thirty seven to one at the Westgate Superbook. I told John Murray not to boost it. I don't want his voodoo reverse jinx bs screwing up my mojo because he thinks it's funny and it's not funny. funny um anyway i have a visitor hi can i help you oh i have two visitors great this is why i should not leave my office door open that's okay uh they're just people gonna start love people love dogs i love dogs too but these two are absolutely insane i just need a little tiny like french bulldog or something that just wants to sleep in my office is that too much to ask for i have a giant pit bull who terrorizes my house and is drooling on my leg right now. Oh, um, you can, you can and she, everybody Pe always says she looks like Mrs. Pe Miss Peaches, and she's prettier than Miss Peaches. Come here. You come say hi. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Aww. Come here, Reese. She's like, I never am allowed up here. Come here. Come here. Come here. She's like, what? I don't know what to do. I'm not allowed to do this. Say hi. Oh, the race. Oh my gosh, she is pretty. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Wow. Oh, she's a good girl. She's just kind of stupid. Look hey. at her face. Look at her face. Okay, yeah. now get out of my office. Goodbye. She's like, "What? What is wrong with you? Do I have drool on me?" Yeah. Well, if you want, right. if you want a little dog, I can let you borrow Big Mario. But he doesn't. He's not really a lap dog. Like he's just he's always running around. He looks like a jumping bean. He's like Bing Bing yeah, Bing he, Bing. He, like. And you know what else about him too? I've no. He, he just kind of trots around my house. He doesn't. He's very confident. Got a lot of swag. Well, he's a male dog. And, you know, he didn't – this was disappointing for me. Liverpool beat Manchester United 3-0 on Sunday morning. I'm okay, so we're going to go back to my dog no, no, parlay. No, this is important. Mario, no interest in the game. No, I mean, he – I'm like, I'm like, dude, can you just sit down and chill so I can watch the game? He, he just – he's running around the house. He's, he's sniffing Ellie's butt. You know, he, he, there's nothing, nothing. The show is completely off the rails. Reese, I'm sorry. Good go girl. Lay here. There go you ahead. go. Let's go. Uh, you, okay. Let's so go my three three. team underdog parlay, sorry. Sorry. Illinois to beat KU, Illinois. Michigan State to beat Maryland, Michigan to beat Texas. So Illinois, what was the second one? Michigan State. Yeah. So so we talked about it in the, in the risk room today. 
uh, I, taught, I was talking to Chase Michelson because he was putting it up. And we were going to put it up like 42 to 1, I think. No, I and said then, not to. Well, but ready, you haven't heard this part of the story. Then one of our risk managers, Casey Degnan, he was sitting across the room. He, he goes, what are the games? And I told him. He goes, oh, make that 50 to 1. That has no chance of winning. Yeah. All right. Well, it was yeah. a Texas fan, KU fan, Maryland fan. Like these you, guys get so emotional about their teams. But no, but you're not being. You hate KU. You hate. KU. No, you I hate don't. This, you do. Let listen to the video when it comes out. JH is probably producing it right now because he surely isn't listening to the most off the rail shows we've show we've ever done. Listen, you have an axe to grind about my friend Andy Samuelson. Okay. Who, who's a so, KU grad, and and this is you're going with Illinois against KU because you hate them. Okay, can you give me the sh the sharp college football plays? Sharp college football plays. You're not gonna like the first one. Okay. Tulane plus ten. Okay, that doesn't surprise me. Now I gotta say, the other, you're not gonna like this one either because it's moved so much. But they just keep betting Virginia Tech. They just keep steaming Virginia Tech up. Virginia Tech. We talked about West. Why Virginia wouldn't I like that? Because the lines moved so much. They laid oh. like they were laying like 17, 17. And a, Virginia Tech. We talked about West Virginia. Ooh. Virginia Tech had a Horrible loss on Saturday. To Vanderbilt. To Vanderbilt. Horrible loss for the Hokies. Some people team. definitely had to lose Virginia Tech oh, in our sure. uh, in our pool. And then the big game of the weekend, and I don't I don't like it when the big game of the week is the Fox Big Noon game. What? Because that's, that's nine o'clock in the morning out here. Grow up. But it's not good for business. It's not good oh, for sorry. business to have the best game of the week at nine in the morning. I bet they totally are like, damn, the book the bookmakers just aren't gonna make enough money on this game. They should. That's how the people at Fox should be thinking. Oh. Texas minus six and a half. We're at seven right now. That that was definitely a pretty sharp side there. The well, I can have a bet the, at the Westgate Superbook from Florida, so I did get seven and a half, but I did use I seven can tell in you the video. The game that the Sharps are batting back and forth is this Mississippi State Arizona State game. Yeah. Where they, they they pushed it up, then they knocked it back down. There's not I don't think this week college football is nearly as good as last week college football in terms of the card. We do have the, the Colorado Nebraska games, a primetime game. I haven't really seen much to report there. Iowa, Iowa State is always a fun game in the afternoon. That's when they've batted that one around. You know, we've been moving around through three. Well, is it like one of Iowa State's best players hurt? Linebacker that, or something? That that number is just, they just keep going like this with it. So good good volume, but this Saturday I don't think will be anything close to last Saturday. I think okay. last Saturday's games were a lot better. At least when I say that, I mean on paper. I'm aware that the Georgia game is a blowout, that the Miami game is a blowout. I'm talking about looking at the matchups going into the weekend. You mean like top 25? There's like... <laughs> Two technically top twenty-five matchups, and NC State probably shouldn't be in the top twenty-five. Here's the best game of the week: night game, Boise State against Oregon. Here's why it's the best game of the week. I'm going to go out to the Naked City with Sammy Panyanovich ah, to watch the game. I've been doing a show. Apparently, you're doing Wednesdays. I'm doing Thursdays. Is that a, that's a weekly spot I'm doing? Yes. Oh, I, I don't know. know. He told me that this morning on the show. He said, "Oh, John Murray came on." So more fitting to have his counterpart. That was after Matt Eumann said we were not critically acclaimed. Yeah, what's that all about? What's he talking about? Uh, to get the interview uh, with Kelly, the, of course, the co-host of the critically acclaimed Kelly and Murray show. I don't know if it's critically acclaimed, but she is a co-host <laughs> of that show, uh, Kelly in Vegas, and uh, we're going to announce some uh, more contestants. Are we, can we, do we have any... Do we have any press clippings from a critic about how good we are that we could just say, hey, humans, take a look at this? Or, or could we could we do like a fake review or something? I don't know. We got in trouble from the sphere. Our producer put, put yeah. me and uh, Pam on the sphere, and uh, the sphere told them that we had to take it down. You know, and, what that, uh, you know what that shows, though? It's the juxtaposition. Wes Reynolds is a good lad, a really nice guy. And then Matt. What? Well, it's Matt. Who I love. I, obviously, I love Matt. What a dickhead comment. You know, what's he doing? What? Matt Humans Matt Humans is better than that. What is your college football best bet? Okay, so I went with Illinois as my best bet. I, but my two underdogs that I gave to an outright, one I used in my chuckle video right there, uh, is Cal, plus 14. And, of course, I get it last night from JH. I'm not going to post it at 2 o'clock in the morning. And I was, I was asleep. 
So I posted the first thing this morning. People are like, where'd you get 14? I'm like, well, it was 14 all day yesterday when I filmed it. Now it's 13, which I like. That makes me happy. Somebody agrees with me. Um, and then I also like App State plus 17. Okay. I just, listen, I, you're going to get mad at me, but whenever, whenever you mad pick, you. yeah, you're going to get mad. Whenever your college pick is against KU or against Texas, I think it's because you're blinded by your hatred of those. Two That's schools. not true. Remember, I was on Oklahoma. I said, la or I was on KU last year at home versus Oklahoma. They are a much better team at home than they are on the road. And this year, they have no home games. They're playing at Arrowhead. Yeah, it's true. Their their trajectory, like if you look at ESPN and some of the ridiculousness with their FPI BS, mm -hmm. this team is not making the college football playoff. Pump the brakes. Can you get? tickets for my buddy Andy to go to that KUK State game at Arrowhead? It's not at Arrowhead. It's in Manhattan. Oh, it's in Manhattan. Can you get tickets for Andy to go there? I mean, I'm going. Brett's going. Ariel Epstein's going. But why would I want to bring Andy? Well, I, okay. I got a really good friend who lives in Wichita, Jackson Wilcox. He went to K-State. Can you get him tickets? Uh, I can ask, but it's sold out. Yeah, but you're Kelly and... I mean, I asked for media passes so we could go down on the field, but... That doesn't mean I actually have even a ticket to get in. Let's do NFL. You gave your college best bet. Why don't you just roll into your NFL best bet, and then I'll go through some sharp plays I'm seeing in the NFL. So I went back and forth on which was going to be my best bet uh, mm -hmm. this week, but I do like the Bucks. I don't like that it's down to three. I didn't mind the line move from four to three and a half, but mm -hmm. from three and a half to three, ugh, not ideal. That is the best bet I gave out on Wager Talks. Bet on it show. Uh, look, you have a rookie quarterback in uh, – who are they? The commies? You On know the what? road I tell against you. this defense. It's going to be hotter than the surface like of the sun. Pick. Huh? I don't like this pick. Sorry. You I, I gave it out like a month ago. Yeah, but Kelly, you know, the coach, the coach that you're backing on Sunday, Todd Bowles, he came out and he used the word Redskins twice in an interview. Yes. Are these the kind of people that you're going to throw your support yes. behind? Did you not see the petition? People are trying to get them to be called the Redskins again. All the stuff that we did that four-year gap where we canceled people, uh, including myself, over <laughs> using words that are now allowed to be used again, it's ridiculous. Just call I'm, them the damn Redskins. I'm offended by that pick. I want you to know Why that. can the Chiefs still be the Chiefs yeah. and all these other monikers that relate to Native Americans, right, supposedly? Redskins is oh, supposed to be minute. derogatory, you know but Chiefs is okay? I don't get it. I almost forgot to do this, and I'm going to go through the NFL sharp plays I've seen. You haven't said a word about the fact that the Cleveland Guardians are now back out in front by four and a half games, and I'm not trying to mush them. The Cleveland the Indians. The win total went over. We won. The win total's over. Where's my thank you? Okay, well the win total went over. Great. I still need to cash my AL Central ticket. Thank you very why much. The, why do the Indians and Redskins have to change their names? And the, I don't know. The That's why I was Chiefs asking. The, the, the it doesn't make any box. sense. No, it doesn't. It's make dumb. Sense. It's all dumb. It's like Manhattan High. We were the Indians, and they tried to change it. And we went to the school board, and we're like, hey, the first head coach was Native American. He named us the Indians. I think you should be the Manhattan High Guardians, but that's another conversation <laughs> for another day. NFL, really quickly, because the game— Do you want me to give out the rest of my, my bets or no? Oh, I thought you just had a best bet. No, what's Bucks, your, oh, what's Titans. Your format? What's your, I thought you did a best bet. What's your I do Bucks. Okay, and then you have others? Well, there's like three games I really liked all the same. Oh, I'm, so, oh, then I'm really sorry. I, I, that, I, I, thought, I thought you did like an NFL best bet video, and that was your, your shtick. I did. Okay. John Hoagland produced it for me this morning. Okay, um, what are the other two? What are the other two? Titans, sorry. Colts, Raiders. I don't know if I can play that third divisional dog, the Panthers. It like makes my skin crawl. So let me talk about those three games. I really like the Raiders. I, I, I think the Raiders are going to beat – San Diego or the Chargers on Sunday. Did you uh, just call them San Diego? What is wrong with you? Because I'm not... They've been in L.A. for like a decade. I'm no, not, not a quite. smart human being. Uh, I think the Raiders are going to win on Sunday against the Chargers. The Colts, the, the most lopsided game of the week for the books is Houston. I like the Colts this season. You know I bet the Colts to make the playoffs. I like it. I like that one. Here, here's my thing about the Titans. I've seen this stat a lot on Twitter, on our, now it's called X, about quarterbacks, rookie quarterbacks that were the first overall pick, their win-loss record. And I got to tell you, you can take that stat and you can shove it in the sack. Get rid of it. It worked for Bryce Young last year. 
But Caleb Williams was not drafted. Hold on a second. This is an important thing. Caleb Williams was not drafted by the worst team in the NFL. They got the first pick through a trade, not because they finished with the worst record. That's a distinction. All these other guys got drafted by the worst team in the league. So, of course, they would lose their first game. Are we sure that that is factual of the other nine teams? I, I would say maybe there's one exception to that, but for the most part, it's got to be, right? I mean, how often does the first overall pick get traded? I can't say. Uh, you're, you're probably right. There's probably one example. I, I'll agree with you on that. But for the most part, it was a team like the Panthers when they got Bryce Young that was the worst team in the league. The Bears were not the worst team in the league. They got the they got this pick. By, I love how you accuse me of being a Texas hater and a KU hater, but you haven't accused me of being a Bears hater behind that pick. I, I like the Bears. Okay, you know me and the, the rest of the boys from Gonzaga College High School were Bears. Should fans. we have like a should we have like a like a friend bet? Eight and a half wins, you get the over. I'll take the under. Yes, we can do that. But I I, I don't I don't I don't I think that what number's gone bet, down. John Murray? I think that number's gone down too much. Sharp plays that we've seen, Kansas City. That game's tonight, so I don't know. I don't know how motivated the the producers are to get that clip out. You know, well, we I mean? were supposed to hit on it in the top of the show, and we just totally oh, yeah. blew on by it. So I'm gonna guess <laughs> they're probably not motivated to get that clip out. Sorry about that, fellas. Uh, Kansas City. That was when it was minus two and a half, minus one ten, back, and then that was a while ago. Ravens got a lot of problems on that offensive line. It should be an interesting game tonight. But sharp money on Kansas City, Carolina. They took Carolina plus four and a half. And then this one this one came over this afternoon. They took Detroit minus three and a half against the Rams. That's the Sunday night game. I don't know what to think of the Rams, kid. I'm going to be honest with you. I mean, Aaron Donald retires. I, I feel like they're getting older in a lot of places. They haven't had a lot of high draft picks the last few years. They traded a lot of draft picks to build that Super Bowl team, which paid off. They won the Super Bowl. It was the right thing to do. But they've, they've mortgaged their future in a lot of ways. Having said all that, they made the playoffs last year, and there's a lot of sharp guys that are betting on them to make the playoffs again this year. I, I don't, I don't know what to do with the Rams, but sharp money on the Lions Sunday night bets. I'm not sure what to do with the Rams either because it, it would appear that people think that Arizona is going to take a step forward. Mm -hmm. We yeah. know historically about the Super Bowl losers, right? So the 49ers. And then I mentioned The Witch, which everybody now thinks it's funny. You better ask The Witch. I'm like, just telling you what she said. And then she chimed in. I sent it to Louie on the tweet. He just panicked, didn't reply. I'm like, okay. And Seattle, big question mark. Yeah. Which I think is a really great segue into me saying that we have five survivor picks in the NFL splash. Yeah. So what are we doing? So like, okay, all right, let's just We get have this part. to use Seattle on like three of those. Well, let's get this part out of the way. There's five of them. We're going to – how many are we going to use with the Bengals? Like one? One. One. I, mean, I, I can live with that. I mean, I, I, I think it would be wrong to not use them at all. I would agree with that, but – because you can look use them later on versus Vegas, Denver, and there's like one other game. I think maybe mm -hmm. Arizona. I'd have to uh, look at their schedules not in front of me. Well, I, I don't think – Did I send you a, a copy of the handy-dandy spreadsheet I made us? You did not. And I don't oh, think – I'll make sure to add you on the Google Sheet. I got a feeling Denver's not going to be as bad as you as people think they are. But they might not be as bad maybe over game? their season win total, but I don't think Bo Nix is going to go into Seattle and win that game. No, I was talking about you said uh, I was talking about the Bengals. You said Denver played you said the Bengals played Like Denver. week 17 I think they play. Oh, well, I don't I don't think we should be game planning for week 17. I agree because Joe Burrow, Jamar Chase, there's some injury concerns there. So let's say let's say one for the Bengals, and then you like Seattle against Denver. Is that what you're saying? Yes. And what else do you like? Uh, so there's a couple other spots to use the Bills. This is the Bills team that I am thinking we have the Jets potentially if Aaron Rodgers stays healthy, takes a step forward. I think Miami improves on last season. What does is that leave for the Bills? Is it well the Patriots? Well, yeah, I, did, I left them out on purpose. Is it crazy to you? Remember, remember that really cool bet I had when I was sitting in your office and you're like, oh, yeah, they just traded away their best player. I'm like, wait, what? It will bet. Is it crazy to you, the Lions? There's been some sharp money on Detroit. I would go one Lions if you wanted to. They're, not, they're now up to minus four and a half here at the Superbook. Just an option. Well, we'll when else would we use that. the Lions? Let's look. Now you got. Now I got to open this up. Well, no, no, no. We'll, we'll finalize that. We'll have our guys tweet it out probably, what, Saturday? 
So Detroit will be six and a half versus Tampa Bay. The following week, they'll be seven and a half. Week eight versus Tennessee. They'll be four. Week 11 versus Jacksonville. Don't we need to possibly keep them for Thanksgiving or are we going well, to straight that, Cowboys? What's the format of Splash? Do you have to pick a Thanksgiving game? Uh, you have some double pick weeks, yes. Because last year we were in a contest where you had to save a team for Thanksgiving. Correct. That good increased point. the value of Dallas. That good, increased very, the very, very good point. Let me uh, let me look. And then I don't like, you know, I don't. I, I think it's very, it's not correct to say, oh, they'll be minus seven, they'll be minus four. We don't know what these teams are going to look like in week 11. Very true. I mean, I like when, when we sat here before week one a year ago, there we were talking – we were talking about all these places to go against Houston. You remember that? Houston, they had just had the second overall. And I was out. right. We did not use them against the Jags, and they and, won outright. And I had actually, I did a, I did a Survivor in the big Survivor contest in Las Vegas. I split it with my buddy from high school, and our week one play was Baltimore against Houston. And Baltimore did, well, Baltimore won that game. But I remember texting him during the game being like, geez. This Stroud kid is really good, man. This, like it was right away obvious. So what what we think we know today we about week 10, we don't know shit about week 10. Let's just keep that in mind. Fair assumption. Okay, so Splash, weeks 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 are all double pick weeks. What? Yeah. Oh, no one's going to be able to. All right. It's we'll, fine. It's a million dollars guaranteed for 100 bucks. We'll, oh, really? Oh, that's awesome. Oh, wow. Okay, great. And there's a huge overlay. I think it's like a half million dollar overlay still. Let's talk about that offline and then maybe go into, oh, what I was teasing about the Broncos is me and the boys bet Broncos over five and a half wins. I see that. I I told you, I bet I can see them winning a few games. I I like the Broncos over. I think they've got a lot of winnable home games. I like the coach. Broncos over five and a half. Pairing that with our Notre Dame playoff yes bet. The boys are pumped. Do you want to do the mailbag? The mailbag. Let me get it open. do. Okay, we have nine mailbag questions. We're going to go bottom up just to screw with people. At BOP Nation on X says, aren't same game parlays a huge sucker bet? Uh, I'm going to answer this. Uh, yes, of course they are. Especially I love when I open up. So I live in Florida. And there's only one app to bet. And they're these purple boxes. And it's like, here's the most popular bets. And I like literally want to go through them and just fade all of it. Except you can't really fade same game parlays. And that's not, it's kind of the inverse. And it's also not very smart. But like, if I could find some of those straight, I I just, yes. Yes, they are absolute and utter sucker bets. Moving along. No at bets bald on X says, are we on primetime unders this week? Uh, I think we're on primetime unders for the foreseeable future, John Murray. Yeah, that's a question for you. Isn't that one of your shticks? You, you like the unders and the primetime? It's, it's, it just kept hitting last year. So, yeah. yeah, I do like the under tonight, Thursday night, which you guys won't know in time. Uh, and, yeah, Friday night in Sao Paulo, Brazil. I saw this like thing where they were talking about because of the altitude and all the stuff. They love yeah. the over. How could, I mean, Sunday night like, in the dome. How could you bet that game? Like we don't know what is we don't know what the field conditions are going to be like. Remember the game that was supposed to be in Mexico City and they yeah. just totally. Oh, they had they had all kinds of problems with the fields last year in London, and now we're down in Brazil. The players doesn't sound like any of them want to be there. Yeah. And I I did a podcast this morning with with Christopher Felica, our mutual friend, and my comment on the Green Bay Philadelphia game was. There's 15 other NFL games to choose from this week. I, I think you can find somewhere else to go. I, I don't know. Everybody, I'll tell you this. Everyone's betting the Eagles in that game with us. It's all Eagles. Yeah, and the, I, the line's coming down. I don't know what to make of that game. Uh, I'm out. I'm out. Next question. Uh, for some reason, my neighbor is weed whacking right outside of my office window right now, so I apologize if anybody hears that on the mic. At 0-1-TK-1 on XS, do they play country roads at Liverpool games to order – to order, oh my God, to honor proud WVU alum and super fan, John Murray. No, we. Well, that's, good. that's a good question, and I appreciate the question. No, they play You'll Never Walk Alone. It's the best anthem in all of football. What? Everyone no. sings it. Everyone stands together and sings it before the game starts. They do not, by the way, sing God Save the King. They don't sing that? that. They don't. They don't sing that in Liverpool. They sing You'll Never Walk Alone. Okay, great. The pint glass guy says, what is one popular NFL prop or side this week that you don't have much faith in? 
Uh, well, I think we I think we already talked about it. Uh, Houston, you know, I mean, Houston is the most popular side this week, and I still maintain that Indianapolis should have won that game. That it was a Saturday night game for the division. I like Indianapolis this week. I'll, I mean, it's kind of a boring answer, but I'll say Houston. Same. Yen Sid twenty six ninety one on X says, seems like everyone is on the Bengals for Survivor. It scares the poop out of me. What are your thoughts? We kind of already went over this. Yes, I hate the idea of being on the same page. You know, you get the the Vegas contest have the the graphics they put out like Saturday night after everybody submits, and it's like you the it's like a sinking feeling to be in that number one slot with everybody else. It sounds awful. Well, what's the, what, what you've got to decide, Yen Sid, 2691, is are you, and I, I don't mean this in, a, in a, like a attacking way, are you trying to win or are you trying to survive? Because maybe you're saying, I am trying to survive. I invested $1,000 and I know I'm not going to win this thing. There's a million people in it. I'm trying to get some entertainment value out of my $1,000. Kelly and I, we didn't make any money. I would say we got some good entertainment value out of it. Yeah, but I watched, and I told you last year, I thought our entry was worth 25000 before Thanksgiving, and you blew me off. I watched the documentary because Pam was, well, I was in it a little bit, but Pam was in it a lot. And I was like, I knew we had some value. So anyway, no, I that's digress. A good, that's a good point. No, that's a really good point. We so, could we could have 25 x our money. Are you trying to survive or are you trying to win? I mean, I... That same guy that I'm talking about that he and I had the Ravens week one last year, two years ago, week one, we had the Bengals against the Steelers. We lost the first freaking game, dude. I mean, it, it, yeah. It's funny because Chris Thurston and I decided on our show today that we're just going double Seattle. And he goes, you know, we don't have a show if we go out week one. I go, eh, we'll just find something else to talk about. I mean, you're, you're, there's so many people in that contest that it's so unrealistic to think that you could win. Yeah. That... There, I don't think it's that crazy to say, I just want to survive. I want to get some bang for my buck. I want to make it a couple of weeks, a couple of months, and get some entertainment value out of my $1,000. And if that's the case, the Bengals are minus 420 on the money line. You should use the Bengals. Ooh. Okay, I'm going to skip two of these because we already talked about the Texans. And college football has already kicked off, so we've talked about that last week. Uh, wise guy wager on X wants to know who's fired first, Billy Napier, the head coach of Florida, or Mike Norvell, the head coach of FSU. Also, Cam Ward or Miller Moss. Which one do you like to win the Heisman? Hey, listen, yeah. Miller, go ahead. Would they? I mean, Florida State's not going to fire Mark Nor Mike Norvell. They were thirteen and zero. I'm going to say this right now. I got so many texts from people that were like, "I'm sorry, you said." that Mike Norvell did not know what he was doing. And this was against Notre Dame, the first year I lived in Florida, that was 2021. My dad and I went to the game. I had them on the money line versus Notre Dame, and they pissed down their leg in overtime. I don't know what is going on. Okay. And, and of course, all the Seminole fans just want to say, it's DJU, it's DJU. No, like, he doesn't play defense, too. It's He's not your only problem. Look, they, I get you. I kind of understand where you're coming from, but... This team that was 13 and 0 last season probably makes it to the college football playoff if their quarterback doesn't get hurt. I think they probably would have had that fourth spot. Probably. To say they're going to fire him, but, but this is college football we're talking about. So who gets fired first? Billy Napier. I can't answer it until I can see the buyouts. Oh. Like what? That's what, very what, good point. what are their buyouts? What's Billy Napier's buyout at Florida? I mean, I. But having said that, I didn't think A and M was going to fire Jimbo Fisher. Wasn't his buyout like $75 million? Yeah, well, I also didn't think the Broncos were just going to give away Russell Wilson with their buyout either, but here we are. I, I, mean, I mean, no offense to him, but is Mike Elko really that great that you're going to pay $75 million to be able to hire him? I just, I, I, I'm sorry. I, that's crazy. I, I, I loved every that's, second of that game. Every no, no, second of every terrible offensive play call just yeah. warmed my purple little heart. Okay, at Danny K seven three one on X says, does a Westgate post the top picks in the Westgate Superbook Gold contest? And if you followed yeah. the top three to five consensus picks, do you think you'd come out up money at the end of the year? Because there was a really good point in time, like when I first got into this industry, if you faded the top like one or two consensus super contest picks. It was like free. It was so good to fade. And then it kind of went back to not being a good fade. We're going to see this year. 
Uh, but I, I do find that interesting because the gold contest is more prestigious. It's usually people with a bigger bankroll and or uh, a lot sharper. Take a look at it the first few weeks. I don't know about doing that all year long because you got to remember in the Super Contest Gold, it's winner take all. So you could have guys doing some game theory stuff later in the season. They're out of the money. They're intentionally playing opposite sides. But do you you guys that. post it like you do the yeah. Super Contest? My dog oh, yeah. is not Yeah, you can, you can, you can see it. This you is can like see all the, big dog. You can see all the picks, but listen to what I'm saying. Sometimes you get to like week ten, guys, eight games, ten games out of the out of the first place. He's playing bad sides. He's trying to go against the grain, trying to gain ground because he can't he can't win. You can't win just playing what everybody else is playing in a winner take all contest. So if you're gonna do that, only do it for the first few weeks, Danny. Got it. Got it. I got to get out of here. I'm trapped in in an office with a very misbehaved dog. You are tremendous. Your dog is beautiful. That's your, you know, Colt knows. used to always say to girls when he was single, he would have these hats and we would always make all these funny hats. Mine always said like side bitches get boob. And he had one that said, thank God you're pretty. And that's what Reese reminds me of. Like, you little shit, you chewed up this today. Thank God you're pretty. Like, if you weren't so beautiful, you might just have to go back to the shelter. <laughs> well, you know, you know, I think Ellie, my beagle, is just an absolute beauty queen. She but is mouthy. I couldn't handle a mouthy dog. Now she's she is my pushy, man. She is a pushy, but a beautiful girl. She's cute. Mario is cute, too, even though you didn't let me meet him.